Hello, friends, and welcome to your weekly announcements here at Trinity Church in Portland. A number of different announcements for the good of the order. The first is that in Thursday's email, a new video came out. This past week, Bill Green interviewed longtime Trinity member Joan Delator, and she shared a little bit about her connection and history here at Trinity. Over the course of the next few weeks, we'll continue to roll out interviews to share a bit about the history of Trinity Church and about how this place has been part of people's life of faith, how it's been part of them growing in knowing God and loving God. So I hope you'll take a little time and enjoy these interviews which Bill and I are putting together along with longtime members of the church. The second piece of information I'd like to share with you has to do with CDC guidance. As many of you who were here on Sunday noticed, we are back to wearing masks here because Cumberland County has a high rate of community transmission of the COVID virus. As a result, so long as the CDC is recommending indoor mask wearing, we will be following their advice. And just like in the past, when that recommendation shifts, we will take masks off again. So I just want to make sure you're all aware that's how we're making this decision by listening to the CDC and following their advice. Also, in terms of coffee hour, we'll continue to be offering coffee hour here at Trinity. Whenever the weather is good, we'll be heading out into the park just to make it a more comfortable and safe environment because it's really hard to drink something or eat something with a mask on. Similarly, when the weather doesn't cooperate, we'll make sure to have the windows open and the air purifiers functioning in Lincoln Hall. Then, on Mondays, we continue to offer our Sacred Ground series. We had 11 people come this past Monday at 6.30. And we are embarking on a rich and wonderful conversation about faith, about forgiveness, about race, and about how God is calling Christians to be people who seek reconciliation and healing. If you're interested in learning more, speak to me, speak to Heather Sylvester, our deacon intern, and we'd love to tell you more about the Sacred Ground series. Then, on Wednesday, May the 18th, our three by three poetry series continues here at Trinity. Lily Greenberg has been leading us and, and bringing in some phenomenal poets who share their work with us. So 6 p.m. on the 18th of May, right here in Trinity's sanctuary, we'll have three by three, another hour of poetry reading here at the church. You are welcome, you're wanted, come and take part in that. Finally, as you may have heard, our deacon intern, Heather, will be ordained in June on the 18th at 10 a.m. at the cathedral. My hope is that as many of us as possible will take part in her ordination at St. Luke's, 10 a.m. on the 18th of June. Also, following her ordination, Heather will be staying here at Trinity, continuing her ministry, continuing her presence. And that is just a wonderful gift that we all celebrate. An email was recently sent out to you about a little present for Heather. So if you're interested, make sure you check that email. If you didn't receive the email, contact me or contact the parish office. Friends, my prayer is that in the midst of this season of spring, as life is bursting forth, as we see beauty all around, and we also continue to hear news that is troubling and challenging, my prayer is that you would sense God's presence working in you, bringing hope and life, bringing strength, even in the midst of challenges. I will look forward to walking the journey of faith with you in the days to come, and I am so thankful for your presence and your connection here at Trinity. Many blessings, friends. We'll see you soon.